just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Cheyenne, <laughs> it's Sunday at the church and they are the fighting. I think I'm stuck. Shane, <laughs> I don't think I'm so, Cheyenne, you little, you ought to Ain't be able to little. wiggle back in there. Oof. Good morning. It is Monday. I am tired. That doesn't surprise you, I'm sure. The only good thing about today is, well, that I woke up and I'm alive. Other than that. I get off at 3.30. I'm so tired. I'm going to come home, shower, and call it a night. I'm so tired, you guys. Um, I pinched my finger. I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, I pinched my finger when I was working in my room. And right here is so sore. Yeah, so when I was in church clapping yesterday, it hurt a lot. So good thing I'm not assisting anymore because my hands really hurt today. So the weather said it's supposed to rain this week. That's really weird because we've been having spring-like weather, yes. At first it said Thursday and Friday. Now it's saying Saturday it's supposed to rain. So we'll see. I don't know, you guys. I woke up this morning and seriously wanted to call in, <laughs> but I know I can't do that. Um, and the week that Savannah graduates, I'm taking off her graduation day, actually the rest of that week, her graduation day, which is on a Wednesday, and then the rest of that week I'm taking off. And it's so funny because that week, because when I requested it, I requested it like months ago, because I knew in advance. I should have thought about it a little bit more because we have off on Memorial Day, which is a Monday, and then I go back on Tuesday for one day, and then I have the rest of the week off. So I don't know. I'm thinking how I can get that Tuesday off. I don't know, we'll see you guys. Okay, better get going. There was something I wanted to tell you guys. I don't know, I'll tell you guys later, if I remember. Your love surrounds me in the eye of a storm. Love that song. Anyway, just made it to work. And once again, sorry for this angle, you guys. I know it's not very good at all, but I can't put you guys up here because the names of the building and the different places around are here. I think I explained it to you guys before. So I remember what I wanted to tell you guys before I left home. So guess what I did, you guys? And my kids think I'm totally crazy for this, but Savannah likes it for some reason. She's, I call her my old soul. You guys remember the show Little House on the Prairie? Well, a long time ago, I used to watch it as a little girl. Yes, I'm old. I grew up in the 70s. I was born in the 70s. <laughs> and I used to watch it. I don't even remember what night it came on. I love that show. And I'm sure I'd never seen every single episode. And I don't know. I was just thinking about it the other day. And I'm like, be able to watch it from beginning to end. See all the episodes. And just, it'll be something that's really nice to have, right? So, I started researching and... I looked on Amazon and I found like the whole box set for like 150 one was 74 and I'm like okay if I can get it a little bit cheaper than that I'd get it it's nine seasons so I actually found most of them on Macari where people sell their things their own items that they had and I got a really good deal on all of them I didn't find the box set on Macari. Well, actually a couple people were selling like the whole series for $40. And before I was able to even, you know, ask them about it or 
purchase it, someone else had already snagged it. So I was trying to wait until someone put, put another box set up so I can, you know, get that one. Hold on, guys. I gotta bring the app up so I can get ready to clock in. Anyway, I was waiting for someone else to bring the box set up so I can get the whole season and no one did so I was just like anxious and ready to get it found them from different sellers for all nine seasons I ended up paying about $45 um, for all nine seasons from different people so those are slowly trickling in I have seasons one through five at home I think and then the rest I'm waiting to come in all right you guys so that's what I wanted to tell you guys. It shouldn't surprise you that I like something like that. I mean, it is basic and simple. And some people think it's boring. But for some reason, Savannah likes it. And that's why I call her my old soul. Because she likes all of the shows that I used to like growing up. Like, I Love Lucy and just things like that. Good times. Things that I wouldn't think she likes. She actually likes watching with me. And it's actually fun watching with her. Let me turn my phone off. Because I get to keep my phone with me at my desk, like, visible. I just can't be on it. But they said in case the boss needs to reach us, which this is the first place I've ever worked at where they said keep your phones nearby. Um, all right, you guys. Anyway, I have two minutes to walk in the building and clock in. So let's go to work. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Thursday. Um, sorry for the angle once again. I'm at work on my lunch. Um, I haven't vlogged for like a week because this is gonna be venting time. So, I told you guys how at my job, I love what I do. I love the new boss, Dr. Gray. He's wonderful, him and his wife and the other office they're wonderful but because I'm part of the change everyone here and let me not say everyone not everyone feels this way a lot of the people here are giving me a hard time because Dr. Gray remember you guys I gave him name his name Dr. Gray he tells me certain things to do and they get mad at that because they're like well we never did it this way before well they got to understand the old doctor, well, he's not old, the doctor who's still there now, who's retiring, he's on his way out the door, he doesn't own the practice anymore. And it's not that doctor's decision on how things go or anything like that. He's an employee just like the rest of us now. So what he say doesn't go. And he's the other doctor, he's super nice and sweet. And I'm the type of person, I don't like to get involved in conflict. I am drama free. I don't surround myself with people who involve a lot of drama. I just live like to live my life drama free. Talking behind his back and just everything, right? It's just a whole lot, you guys. I don't even feel like getting into like the details of it right now because it's stressing me out and giving me a headache. But that's the reason why there haven't been the vlog for like so long because when I go home, I just decompress mentally I don't even want to think about the job and I did talk to the boss about this me and the other girl and he's totally on our side and the boss's wife you guys pray for me pray for me if they don't like what's happening the changes that are going on which is not even a bad thing pretty much they can find somewhere else to be and that's pretty much what the boss said. All right, I know I said a lot without saying a lot, but one day I'll d dive deep and let you guys know everything. Here I am having work problems again. I mean, I know things aren't gonna be perfect, but because I get so much support from Dr. Gray and his wife and the other office, that's the reason why I'm staying. And they keep telling me they don't want me to go anywhere and they keep encouraging me and the other assistant that way. So I feel wanted, 
I feel that my feelings are being validated. I'm not wanting anyone to lose their jobs or telling them this to be like, oh, you need to fire them or whatever, but it, it's getting pretty bad here. And something has to be done about it. Hello, everyone. It is Friday. I'm actually in the parking garage of Kaiser. Um, had a doctor's appointment today. So you guys, when I was walking through here, lighting's really weird. It's actually kind of creepy. I know it's light out. The lights in the garage here, as I was walking, every time I walked under a light, the light would go off. And then it happened again. And I'm like, okay, if this happens one more time before I get to my car, this is not going to be funny. It was really weird. I mean, there's people out here and everything, but I just watch too many scary movies, you guys. So I am fine and everything. Um, I may have to have a small procedure done um, next month. I'll tell you guys about that. Nothing life-threatening, nothing's wrong with me. It's not bad, but it's just something I may elect to do. So, yeah. All right, let's go. I'm going to go pick up Savannah, go to the grocery store, and then go home, enjoy my Friday, and relax. Probably watch Little House on the Prairie because that's what I've been doing. I've had a long, stressful week at work, and I don't even want to think about those people. So let's go. Let's just go. So hello. <laughs> it is much later. What time is it? It is 8.30 and i'm laying here i think i told you guys that my tv in my bedroom i think was going out well it is out completely and i don't have a desire to buy one because i don't know just don't um a lot of people don't have tvs in their bedrooms so it's actually not a big deal i'll eventually get another one but right now it's not amongst the important things to do. Savannah's graduation's coming up and there are other things that I need to worry about right now. So yeah, um, we still have one to watch in the living room. So I am watching Little House on the Prairie though on my laptop here. I'm on the first season. This is how I'm watching Little House right now, you guys. And I can go in the living room and watch it, but I don't know, I just feel like laying down in my bed, even though the couch is very comfortable because I pull the, all of the couches have that all of the couches yeah I got so many couches in my um, living room I'm tired you guys that's why when I'm tired I can't think and I ramble and whatever but anyway all four corners of my couch have that part where you can pull the footrest out or whatever you want to call it so it's really comfortable and I'm probably gonna fall asleep soon so sorry I didn't vlog a lot today me and Savannah we did go to Winco to get stuff for dinner Did I say she's spending the night at Evie's house yeah, she's at Evie's house, and I don't know, I'm just trying to think of what to tell you guys to update you guys on. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm tired right now, but I wanted to pull out the camera to talk to you guys because I realized I only vlogged one time today. So, yeah. And Boston is laying on Savannah's bed. When she left, he started whining by the door. And then he started walking around aimlessly like, where did she go? And then he just went in her room. So I'm like, I keep looking like, you can come in here. So, I don't know. If he wants to sleep in her bed still, he can. But yeah. Okay, I'm just rambling. So, okay, bye. All right, you guys. So here is my... Little House on the Prairie collection that I got from Macari and like I told you guys before from different sellers so yeah I finished the first season which is right here and I'm actually going to start on the second one and yeah this is my boring life you guys. Hello is it me you're looking for? Is it? Are you looking for the Shell Bell Life? Are you here for the Shell Bell Life? Well, you found it. Y'all don't mind me. I'm in a weird mood. It is Saturday and I am just getting up and about to start cleaning. The house is not that messy, but I need to vacuum the area rug and just clean a few things, clean the dishes from last night and straighten up everything. And then I'm going to get started on the cabinets in there painting them. So yeah, nothing much 
is going on today just a day of cleaning and actually in a little while I have to go out for a couple hours what I didn't tell you guys is when we decided to foster Boston we also agreed to two Saturdays a month we have to go to wherever they go where they show the dogs for adoption so we have been doing that I just haven't showed you guys that or anything like that because we kind of want them but then yet I don't I still don't know so I still don't know what I'm gonna do if someone decides oh we want him I'll be like no no not yet I don't know so I do have to leave for a little bit to do that today not right now because they don't get there till 11 and it's about 9 20 right now so I have time to straighten up at least a little bit before we go and then um, yeah when I come back I'll start doing this cabinets so anyway let me get to cleaning <music> Okay, so dishes are all clean. That is just what we don't put in the dishwasher, so we just wash it on hand. The dishwasher wasn't full, but it had like long pans, so I decided to run it through a wash. Just have to straighten up my cabinet, put my rice pot away, put those jars away, which they have been sitting there for a while, and straighten this up. This is actually part of decoration in my dining room. I'm going to paint that. So yeah, kitchen is done. And I'm so happy, you guys. I do not have to go take Boston to the adoption place remember where we first met him they were actually going to meet there today so we don't have to take them there because they're not going to meet because of the weather and so yeah i'm excited because every time i get a phone call from them or email it's like i get scared and like no i don't want anyone to want to adopt him and a family actually did want to adopt him but they seen another dog and then they you know didn't want boston anymore so that worked out so I don't know you guys. I don't know when I'm going to just like make that decision. Go potty. Quit staring at me. Go potty. <laughs> he's so sad when Savannah's not here. But he slept in Tyreek's room last night. So he was not alone. Go. Go potty. Okay, maybe I should close these curtains. Because all he's going to do is stand there. His bladder will make him go. You'll be forced to go. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I prepared the cabinets with a deglosser. This is what you use before you do everything. You clean it up really good. And I'm being lazy this time. I'm not taking the drawers out or the cabinets off. I'm just not. <laughs> I don't feel like it. So yeah, so I'm waiting for that to dry and then I will apply the first coat of paint. Hopefully the color that I got will match you guys. We'll see. Okay, this is it so far. I haven't done the top and over here you guys this is me being lazy technically I'm supposed to take those off the hinges and do it that way I'm just being lazy because I've done this so many times before I am a professional now <laughs> so I am just painting around the hinges because I just really don't feel like doing it I'm going to do the top right now so this is my lazy way of doing it. If you ever use this kit, cabinet transformation, follow the directions. Don't do it the way I'm doing it. I'm doing it like this just for this project here. Um, when I did my kitchen and my bathroom and the kids' bathroom, I did it the proper way. I took off the hinges on the doors and the cabinet doors and, you know, I just did it the right way. So this is the first coat except the top which i'm going to do right now but every time i've done this you guys and i should know better by now but every time i have done this i have always looked at it and questioned my paint choices <laughs> but this is only the first coat so of course it's going to look streaked like that i do have a really good paintbrush that won't leave streaks um it's a more expensive paintbrush for this reason so I don't know I'm just rambling so anyway see how the streaks are on there and it's not very good so yeah I am going to probably not do the second coat of paint today because the way I am with things let me turn you guys around the way I am when I do my projects is I'll start them and then 
Sometimes I'll feel like I don't want to do this anymore and then I stop when I get to a stopping point and then I won't do it until I feel the urge to do it again because if I try to continue this, it probably will look horrible. So after I finish putting the first coat on the top, I'm just going to leave it alone until the urge hits me again, which if it does today, great. If it doesn't, then I'll do it tomorrow or whenever. So you guys, just by me painting that with the first coat, it already opens things up and makes it have a bigger feel. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. I wanted to give you guys an update. Remember I told you my old coworker, she had a stroke and was in the hospital and things were touch and go for a while. I don't remember how much I told you guys, but at one point her brother was visiting her, her eye that she could open up and gave him a thumbs up. So they thought everything was going to get better. And then I got two text messages from people that still work there. So I'll just read you part of the text. If they were going to do a tracheotomy last Thursday or Friday, the doctor told the family she will never walk again and will have to have therapy just to learn to open and close her eyes. The family doesn't want to let her go. They want to try to do everything to keep her alive. That was one update. And then someone texted me a couple days after that. And they said um, that she is in a long-term care facility in another city. That's close to here, to Sacramento. So yeah, you guys, it's she's not doing very well at all. And I wanted to go visit, but... When things first happened, I mean, we worked together. We weren't close co-workers, but we worked together. We weren't friends or anything like that. But when things happen like that with a family, I don't want to go there and, and then they'll be like, well, who are you? Whatever, especially when things first happen. I think I am going to go visit now that she's in the other facility. I just think it's going to be kind of awkward. But then yet, just to let her family know that we're thinking of her and, you know, I'm praying for her and I'm looking at my phone because it's weird going to her Facebook page and seeing her daughter is 17 her daughter actually graduates the same day Savannah graduates they set up a GoFundMe for my old co-worker um I will read you guys the last update that she put it was it was 16 days ago so she just said this is her daughter update on mom they have taken her off the breathing tube and so far she's breathing on her own if she can continue on her own on her own she will not need a tracheotomy my mom will be moving to a long-term facility in a few days thank you for caring so much so that was before we're going to decide to do the tracheotomy um yeah you guys i feel so bad for the family just like that our life can change you know so that's the update on her, which is really not good news, but that's the news I have. And it is raining, you guys. That's the reason why, you know, we didn't go to the, I'm about to say the sale, to the adoption, whatever they want to call it, where people look at the dogs to adopt. So yeah, it's raining. It's May and it's raining. What is up with this weather? Crazy. It's kind of nice though. And I'm here alone, just me in Boston. He is laying over there on the couch. Savannah and Evie went to the mall. Shine is at work and Tyreek is actually out and about. I'm watching Little House on the Prairie. Being very boring on this rainy Saturday day. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday and it's foggy outside. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is. And it is May. It was raining all weekend, like storming rain. This weather has been so crazy lately. This is Savannah's last week of high school ever. Her complete last week. I can't get over it. It's just weird to me. When I left today, she's like, Mom, this is my last Monday of high school. I think Wednesday is her last full day. I'm not sure. But yeah, you guys, my baby is about to be done. Huh. 
all right it's 6 30 i better get going it is so cold i should not have to use my heater in may in the house or in my car but i'm turning my heater on because it's freezing right now my legs are so cold It is Thursday night. It is 11 16. Today was my last day of high school. Today was her last day of high school. I know it's hard for you guys to see us, but anyway, she's excited and she had her award ceremony tonight. That's what you guys seen before that. That was her getting her, um, what was it? Cord. Her, because I did community service commu for all four yeah. years. Now I am on my way to the airport. I'm going to pick up my brother. Okay, let's go. side of the road <laughs> right by baggage claim and pickup there's a whole line of cars behind me you guys can't see because the cars are coming but everyone's parking here instead of going to the free parking where you can sit and wait and I decided to wait here also everyone else is doing it let me see if you guys can see now through my rear view mirror I don't know if you can tell but there's a bunch of cars like lined up behind me I don't know, probably not. Anyway, so yeah, we are waiting for my brother's plane to land and then go pick him up. 